Different by design. Studebaker is. Studebaker is. Studebaker is. Studebaker is. Hey everyone, Kyle here again from the Studebaker National Museum. I'm actually joining you today from outside the bank vault where we actually store a few very special items from the museum's collection. Now, due to their value, we're not able to safely display these items at the museum, but I'm thrilled today to be able to share them with you. Um, so the item in my hands here is exactly what it looks like. Um, this is a solid gold book, or more accurately, booklet. Um, it was given to John M. Studebaker, JM, um, by the citizens of South Bend and Mishawaka uh, on the occasion of his 75th birthday um, in 1908. Um, I'll open it for us, take a closer look. And it features engravings of both JM here on the inside cover, um, along with an illustration here of a sort of an angel, along with an engraving of the uh, Studebaker factory and the family's sort of shop and home here, blacksmith shop. Um, so again, there's also an engraving of his wife, Mary, and on the inside here, um, sort of, I'll read it out loud for us. It says, a token of esteem and appreciation of the public spirit and philanthropy of John Moeller Studebaker from the citizens of South Bend and Mishawaka commemorating the seven, or his 75th birthday, 1833 to 1908. Um, now in 1908, the company, um, the Studebaker Brothers Manufacturing Company, um, had been in business for over 50 years um, and was among the largest vehicle makers in the world. Now JM and his brothers, the rest of whom by this point had passed away, um, were wealthy businessmen and civic leaders who greatly contributed to the economic prosperity of the area. So this was a very um, generous gift to JM for his birthday. Now if we look closer, there are actually several inlaid gemstones here, and I'll flip back. I believe this might be a diamond on the other page here. Um, and we can also see back on the page with Mary's portrait, an engraving at the bottom with a name. Um, and it, we believe it says E.E. E. Codman. Now this is Edwin Everett Codman, who was an American sculptor um, commissioned to create the artwork for this book. Um, he's best known today for designing and copywriting a small bust of Thomas Edison for an electrical convention in 1910 um, while working for Gorham, which was one of the largest silver um, Smith silver manufacturing and bronze foundries in the country. Now in addition to the book, we also have two other items stored in our box here. Let me put this back carefully. Um, the first I'll grab is a small medal that was won by the Packard Motor Car Company. Some of you may be familiar with Packard and Studebaker's relationship, but this goes all the way back to 1903 um, to commemorate uh, this particular car competing in an endurance run um, from New York to Pittsburgh, um, sponsored by the National Association of Automobile Manufacturers. Now, this particular contest is pretty amazing um, and remarkable for the fact that there were these massive October storms that flooded roads and washed out hillsides, making this an extremely hazardous um, competition. Uh, and so they left New York, 20, or 34 cars, excuse me, left New York, 25 actually finished this race and completed the 800 miles in nine days in 1903. This is very, again, an early automobile race. Um, because of the conditions in tabulating the scores um, and the conditions uh, and the delays, uh, there was no official announcement on the winners until early December, which is kind of amazing. So we also have this, uh, again, coin. Uh, the last thing I'd like to share with us here is a shadow box containing some samples of gold flakes and nuggets that were collected by John Moeller in California in the 1850s. Now, as some of you know, J.M. originally planned to dig for gold, right, like a 49er, um, but he ended up taking a job in sort of this boom town of Placerville, nicknamed Hangtown, um, with a blacksmith named H.L. Hines, since he had some experience working in his father's shop. Um, he became pretty good uh, at building wheelbarrows, actually. He earned the nickname Wheelbarrow Johnny. Um, and he sold his wheelbarrows for $10 each, um, which if you make enough is a pretty considerable amount of money in the 1850s. Um, and he was able to save a lot of that money, um, which he later invested back in his brother's blacksmith shop here in South Bend. Uh, he did eventually stake a claim in California, however, um, and he was able to glean a few pieces of gold, as we can see here, um, to show his family back in Indiana, which is kind of neat. Um, so the shadow box, the book, and the, the medal um, are truly amazing, beautiful, pieces of our collection that we, we keep here. Um, and I'm so glad to be able to share them with you today. Um, and we hope you join us next time. We'll see you down the road. Different by design.
Studebaker, 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 Studeba